Hello, my name is Dr. Dan Bruton, and I'll show you how to quickly set up a website for your research project. The main reasons for making a website for your research project is to log your weekly progress, uh, collect images and references for either a paper or your poster, disseminate results to the world, or share with your employers. So the way to get started is to go to sites.google.com, that's sites.google.com, log in with your Google account, and then click on the plus sign here. Now, the paper that I'm working on is already over here on the title of that paper is Design of an SAE Baja Vehicle Drivetrain. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into my page right here. I'm going to select all and I'm going to say right click and paste special. Now, if that's too big, what you could do is just, you know, of course, reduce it down a little bit like so, or even make it bold like that. You can also widen up this as well, like so. Now, on the main page, what you probably want to put is something like your abstract or an introduction to your topic. So let's start with the text box right there. You can see it comes into place. And fortunately, I already have my uh, abstract written up here, also with three primary objectives. So let's see if this will paste right into there. So I'm going to copy as is and then go over here to this text box. I'm going to see if I can just paste directly in there. It looks like it did pretty well. The next thing you can do is say, uh, you know, let's put an image on there, maybe taking up, uh, I don't know, a little bit less than half of the page. Um, you could put a title right in here as well. Let's see if we can get a title. Looks like there's going to be an extra space right there. So you can just say introduction if you want to. I could spell it, right? <laughs> Fourth time the charm. <laughs> Still spelled it wrong. All right. And you probably want to make that just a little bit bigger, maybe 14 point font, something like that. And you can play around with the format. Um, you can even play around with the format of this right here on the header type. You can make it, uh, I don't know, maybe like, uh, let's pick an image that's different than that. Maybe something like purple. Or um, maybe we can pick a background image. Let's see if we can do that. And I think you do that right here. And we'll just say select from the stock images that are available, like that one right there, and just say select. Just give it a little bit of style to it. Um, and I think you can even make it uh, smaller, but uh, that's going to lose the title going back to a large banner or just regular size banner. All right, now let's go get some uh, content for the page. So we want to insert an image. And um, let's see if we can select that from my Google Documents. I already have one loaded up right here. So I'm going to put that one into position right over here. And uh, I can make it a little bit bigger, like so. You know, and if I wanted the text to flow around this, what I could do is uh, say text box and go ahead and just move this one down here to the bottom, like so. And I can take off part of this right here, uh, all the way up to my three objectives, like so. And that's going to clean up a little space here. And then enter this full width down here. So it makes it flow just a little bit better. So you pretty much have the website uh, already set up now and you can go ahead and publish it. And when you do, it's gonna give you an example name there, but uh, I really need to give the website a name. So I'm just gonna call it the SAE Baja Vehicle Drivetrain or what I can do is just say uh, SAE Baja Drivetrain to be short and simple about it up here. And I could also put it right there. Then if I publish it, it's going to give me um, a URL that looks like that. And so if I publish that, so it's going to let me, you know, share that. We can copy the link right here, share that with the world. Um, we can even preview it uh, from a PC point of view, a tablet point of view, or a mobile iPhone or Android point of view as well. All right, let's go back and add some more content. Some of the main things you want to have over here, you want to go to pages and say plus. Um, Maybe have something like a slide with just pictures in it, but how about a project timeline? And uh, also, I think we discussed something like having references in there. Um, and I think you can do another one, maybe just it just has images in there. Now, for references, you don't really need to have all of this space up here, so the header type can be just simple title like that. And um, for the reference, uh, for the references, I can just put a text box down there, and I can go to SAE Baja Rules 2003. It looks like it's already right there. And so these are the rules for the competition in PDF form, I believe. 
I think they're going to load up right here. Looks like it's a little bit behind in loading. So I think I'll just go back to this page and reference that one right there. Or maybe, oops, looks like it had a little bit of an issue when I was doing that. Anyway, I'll just go back over here to saebaja.net and use it that way. Got unlucky at the timing of that. So I'll just say one reference I'm going to use here is the SAE um, Baja rules. Let me put this uh, URL on the next page like that. And for the project timeline, what I recommend on this one also is doing something like a title like this, inserting a text box. And what I'm going to do is um, to get a good uh, like a draft of the timeline. I'm going to go over here and use chat GPT and say, give me a five week timeline for the construction of a SAE Baja <laughs> drivetrain. And you can do that for, um, you know, you can just change the prompt here to be the, the name of your project. And it does pretty good at, at coming up with a rough a description of um, what your project could uh, take, what could, what could happen in your project over a five week period. Um, and you can even change the timeline or change the prompt up here to have it be more specific. But I'm just going to take it just like it is. You can see it's gathering project requirements, design phase, create a detailed plan. That's what we're going to do with SolidWorks. So this looks pretty good as far as getting a rough outline for this. The, and you know, keep in mind that AI and, and chat GP in particular are only really good at coming up with a you know, general outline. And you got to personalize it to what you're really going to do, of course. You can, of course, put more detail in here. Um, in your prompt to get it to have it uh, be uh, more in line with your project. But uh, that will be up to you to either design a prompt or modify what it gives you here. So I just went ahead and pasted all that in. Let's see if I do a paste special, if it'll do any different. Looks pretty good. I'm going to pause the video and kind of clean up the week one, week two kind of stuff here. Looks like it did keep the bullets in there. Um, when I uh, paste it normally. So let me just pause the video. You know, it looks like all I needed to do is just select all and then maybe change it to a darker font like that. And we could put underlines for these right there, but I think that's good enough for what we want to do here. And if we don't feel like we need this one right here, I think that might be good to leave in there as well. And that's how you build a website in just a few minutes right there. And what you can do here is um, either um, put your notes right here, or you just can make another page and say something like uh, a progress. Um, and then I think you could probably move this one anywhere you wanted to, right? Just move that one up to there. It looks like I've made it a subset. Um, I could really put this one anywhere. And what I would recommend doing on this one is alternating between uh, you know, a text, you can put like uh, the, the date, like uh, for example, July 5th, 2023. And then, you know, write down uh, what you accomplished on that day. And I think it'll let you, you know, put it in bullet form like that. Well, I think you kind of do it a different way. Maybe have to do a hard return like that. And then just make a notes about what you did right there and then take a picture with your phone and then upload those images over to here. So that way you can kind of keep track of things and not have to wait until like the last minute to, you know, gather all of the images and uh, notes in order to either create a publication or a poster. I hope this helps get you started on creating a website. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.